They haven't opened it. Opened the, uh, oh my god, Kobe right here. Giant Kobe right here. Giant Kobe right there. Oh my god. video here in the Florida Keys. We're headed out this morning, beautiful 75 degree day. Today we're headed out to the Gulf of Mexico, looking for some big beefy cobia, some snapper, maybe even some grouper. We got the whole whole setup right here. I'm Captain Tiki's boat, my grandfather right there. And yeah, I mean, I'm stoked to get out here. Finally, finally fishing after a long couple days of driving, getting out there and hopefully getting absolutely slay the fish so i'll keep you short and sweet i'll meet you guys out there in the gulf stay tuned let's slam First cobia. <laughs> that didn't take long. Good job. Best job. Ain't no, ain't no hook. Just free line. Wow. So I'm not even rigged up yet, guys. And Grandpa just landed the first cobia. Nice keeper. So I can't waste any more time. Got to get in the water. So let's get out there. All right, folks. So we're on the heavier rod here. We're working with a small pinfish on a 6-0 circle hook. We got about a six foot. 40 pound fluorocarbon leader and then we're going straight to some 40 pound braid this is what rods be worked on the surface we got to float around eight feet from the hook so we'll cast it out there the first cobia was caught on the bottom rig but ideally we'll cut some fish up top too and then i'm fishing this on a 4500 slammer and a shimano talus blue water series Oh, there you go. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. What happened? Popped off? Bro. I didn't cut the, the uh, wood cloth off. Oh. <laughs> All right, so on the medium heavy setup I got here, we're working with a small pilchard, smaller leader, and then this rod's gonna be fished on the bottom. Since I'm not a Florida local, I don't really care what I catch on the bottom as long as I'm catching something but I can't catch in Jersey, so we'll drop this down, hopefully catch a snap or something, maybe even a cobia. See what happens, get the fishing. Oh, I caught a fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I got. It's like a little blue runner. Ugh. Blue runner, put him in the tank. All right. So that was the first fish of my uh, Florida season here in 2022. Smoked a pilchard, hopefully. Got something a little different this guy. Open the, open the, uh... Oh my god, Kobe right here. Giant Kobe right here. Giant Kobe right there. Oh my god. He's still right here. He's right here next to this outboard. Oh my god, he's huge. I think he took it. He's gone. Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> 
Here. Come over my head. Wow, that was so cool. <laughs> it just come up and look at it. It came right up. It's huge. Come on. That's a serious one. <laughs> so we were just talking about how cobia sometimes swim to the boat because they're pretty curious fish and we'll, they'll come right up in the chum slick. And we dropped down a larger rod over there for Goliath grouper. And I looked down, and I didn't even believe what I was seeing. I mean, what was that? Probably a 40 incher at least. Nice size cobia. So Ron had a pitch rod ready with a, a pinfish just swimming in the surface in case that did happen. And there we go. Awesome. Ah, oh, no! Shit. Oh, he snapped off? That was a big fish. That was huge. He oh, was so shit. wide. Look at this. Caught a yellow tail out of yeah, his mouth. He caught a yellow tail. <laughs> Maybe that's what he actually had on the whole time. Put a bend in that rod. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Well, Kobe is gone, but hopefully he'll come back. That was, that was a monster. Wow, that was a roller coaster. Fish on. I think it's a jack. Blue runner? Yeah. That's a blue runner. Fun fight on light tackle. Yeah. Cool. That didn't take long. A little bigger. Hoping for a snapper here on the bottom, but it seems to be. Right. What's up? Yeah, blue runner. They are feisty little fish, though, that's for sure. There we go, guys. Another little blue runner right there. Pilcher on the bottom. Just, just having fun while we wait for the cobia to come by. Also keeping a couple of these guys for live bait. Maybe drop one down, catch a Goliath or something. So stay tuned. Oh, got something on here. Do you want it? Oh, he's got here. I got to reel my rod. He's you're underneath me. You're over me. You're over me. Cobia? Maybe? Shark. Shark? Yeah. Yeah, but I think this is one of these shark nose. Got him. You're the high hook today. Staying deep. I think it's a shark. Another shark. Not ideal. Shark? shark. All right, I'll get the gloves. Quick and easy. Jackson Blue Runners, but we 
Cayman in shore right now. Lands just right there on the horizon. We're gonna try to catch a mangrove snapper here. It's only around 10 feet of water, so hopefully catch a bunch more fish this time. Stay tuned, I'm gonna get back there, throw out some bait, and uh, let's hook up. All right, so first fish at the uh, mangrove spot, little whopping 10 incher. Or at least some life here. We got the chum bag flowing. Oh! Smacked it. Hey, a little grouper. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, nice red too. Cool. I don't think I've ever caught this species before. This is why I love fishing in the bay. You never know you'll catch. <laughs> Take two. You'll never know what you'll catch in the chum slick. Little, what, red grouper you said? Red. So, we'll send him back before I drop him again. Beautiful little fish. So cool. See you, dude. Back down to your hole. Did he slam that? <laughs> We're just fishing with a nice chunk of cut pinfish right there. Drop it in the slick, see if we can pull up a bigger keeper mangrove. There's a fish. He slammed that little chunk. Oh, it's a good mangrove. Oh, it's another grouper. I think it's a little gag. <laughs> Wow, put on a grouper clinic over here. That's pretty cool. There we go, we're mangrove snapper fishing, but this is my second grouper, a little gag grouper right there. Really cool colors on them. Send them back. See you, dude. Maybe I'll catch a goliath next drop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shoot, I got a fish on? Boy. I got a fish. He's probably there for half an hour. It feels good. Oh my god, another grouper, right? No, it's not. <laughs> it's the same one, I think. Nah, it's a little small. It's his little brother. Red grouper. Oh, shoot. I'm on. Hopefully this is a good mangrove. Feels heavy-ish. It's a mackerel. No, it's a oh, it's a freaking catfish. Just flip it over. He's a good bait. Oh, oh that's a nice size too. <laughs> yeah, we'll use them for bait. Get in the thing. Yeah, that's a trophy catfish. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video right here. It was a pretty exciting day out there in the Gulf of Mexico. This is the farthest out I think I've ever fished down there in the Keys. We were out 15 miles in the Gulf of Mexico. The target species was to catch some cobia. Um, we ended up hooking into two of them at least. We had that one right by the edge of the boat and the one my grandfather caught right when we got out there, which is our only keeper of the day. But my first time ever cobia fishing out there was really, really exciting. Caught plenty of sharks. I caught a ton of grouper when we moved inshore to the snapper spot. Unfortunately, we got there, the current was so slow, and that's kind of what snapper fishing revolves on, is a steady flow of current. So without any current, we were just kind of fishing stationary in the bottom, didn't really have much luck. But overall, pretty exciting day out there in the Keys. This was the first time I was able to get out and fish. After driving down from Jersey, I spent the previous couple days doing shrimping, getting some stone crabs, eating some delicious food. But a couple more videos gonna be trickling out in the next couple days, next couple weeks from the Keys, guys. It only goes up from here. Um, every day I was down there, I kind of learned something new, did a different type of fishing. So thank you all for tuning in. If you did enjoy the video, if you guys could drop a like, always appreciate that. And if you could subscribe to the channel too, that'd be really great. Trying to grow the channel. I've been saying in the past, like 10 videos here, but yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Stay stoked. I'll see you then.